Okay, let's integrate the inverse tangent x. And this is a hard question. Why? Because we have to use integration by parts. But it's not that hard. Why? Because we have the di method for it. So let's get to work. Let me set that b right here and i right here, plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay, it seems that we just have one thing right here. But then technically, we can look at this as 1 times the inverse tangent x. And we have to choose which one goes with the d, which one goes with the i. Should we put the inverse tangent for the i? No, because that's exactly what we're trying to do. We don't know how to do that yet. Okay? So we have no choice but put the inverse tangent x into the d column. So I'm going to differentiate the inverse tangent. I can do that. So for the i, I'm going to put the 1. Okay? So let's get to work. Taking the derivative of the inverse tangent x, we are going to get 1 over 1 plus x squared. And then when we integrate 1, in the x world, we get x. And let's take a look at this. Should we keep going or should we stop? And the answer for that is we can stop. Because remember, each row represents an integral. The product of this row is x over 1 plus x squared. And that's something that we know how to do. So we stop right here. Let's get to work right here. This right here is equal to, you take the diagonal at the answer part. We have x times inverse, inverse tangent x. That's the first part. And then we're going to minus the product of this row, namely it's x over 1 plus x squared, which is also an integral, okay? x over 1 plus x squared. We put dx on the side. This is something that we can do with a use substitution. Or you can just do this in your head. I will show you guys the work. Let's take a look at this. I will take u equals to the denominator, which is 1 plus x squared. And then I will just differentiate both sides. du is equal to 2x. dx, I have to isolate the dx. Divide both sides by 2x. I get dx equals to du over 2x. And allow me just kind of do this on the side. This is going to be... Um, this integral is going to be the integral, the x is still the x, over the denominator is u. And dx, we found it to be du over 2x. And by looking at this part, as you can see, the x cancel each other out. We have a 2 on the denominator, we can factor it out. This is the same as 1 half integral of 1 over u, du. And what's the integral of this? Of course, this is going to be 1 half ln absolute value of u. We are not done yet. u is equal to what? u is equal to 1 plus x squared. So finally, we'll just change this to 1 half ln absolute value of 1 plus x squared. But then take a look at this. Plus x squared is never 0. It's never negative. In another word, the absolute value is not needed. So we can lose the absolute value and then Use the parentheses, use the parentheses instead. Doesn't really matter, but then this is more legit. Anyways, this right here is not the final answer. Don't forget you still have the x times inverse tangent x in front. Altogether, I'm just gonna go from here to here. The final answer for this is x times inverse function of tangent x. Okay, x times inverse tangent x. And this. So don't forget, we subtract. 1 half ln, parentheses, 1 plus x squared, and we're done. Put plus c at the end, box, cancel. That's it.